the next day. Okay. Um, and last question from Karina. Karina is asking, um, any mental preparation you had to make before the trip? And what are your plans for the future? Wow, great. Two great <laughs> questions. Um, the, the, the biggest mental preparation for the trip is, and this is probably my most important uh, advice that I've gotten in my life and that I'm, that I'm giving now, is to just make the declaration, make the decision to do it. You know, that's the most important thing because there are many reasons to take this trip and there are many reasons not to take this trip. And I'm not saying that you have to do this for a full year. Uh, some, some people just don't have the ability to do that and I understand, you know, you have other obligations but even if you do it for two weeks or a month or six months or five years, however long it is, make the determination, this is what I'm going to do. You know, I, I've had this idea for so long and I'm ready to do it. Now I just need to do it. Uh, because if you, keep, if you keep looking at the reasons not to do it, because you know, you're spending money, because you're putting your career on hold, because of all these other things, then you're just never going to do it. Um, and so I think make, the biggest mental preparation for me was making the declaration that I'm going to do it, was buying that plane ticket. So many of my friends have the idea that they're going to take this trip and, and one day I'm going to do this. Well, one day for me is now. Uh, I love my family, I love my friends, but it wasn't hard for me to say goodbye to them uh, because I knew in one year I would see them again, right? I knew that I was leaving. I love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Uh, I'll see you when I get back, right? And, and so that wasn't a problem for me because I knew that I was coming home eventually. I didn't know I was coming home with a wife, but I knew that I was coming home eventually, right? And so I think that's the most important thing is not leaving your family behind or your friends or anything that you're leaving behind. If you made the declaration that, hey, this is going to be the greatest experience of my life and if you know that, if you believe that, then you just have to say, I'm going to do it. Uh, because you are giving up time with the family, time with friends, your career, going to school. Uh, you're going to be spending money that you could be saving and, and spending on a house or a new car or new whatever, you know, or your business or whatever it is. You, you're going to be giving things up. Uh, but if you decide, hey, this is going to be the greatest year of my life or the greatest six months or the greatest three months, whatever it is, and then I'm going to come home and then I'm going to get serious again about my business, about going to school, about my career, whatever it is. If, if you use this as an opportunity to go out, have a great year, and then come home to a new life and a reinvigorated life and a new energy, um, that was the only mental preparation I needed was just saying, hey, I'm going to do it. And once you say you're going to do it, just buy that plane ticket, go, and then let the trip kind of carry itself and, and you know, that's that's what that's all I had to say that this was the greatest year of my life I'm glad I took it I knew what I was giving up and to me it was worth giving all of that up uh, to take the trip and then come home and get serious again about about my future uh, to to finish up that question what am I doing next uh, I'm working uh, I speak a lot around the country around the United States high schools and colleges about this experience about uh, uh, getting outside of your comfort zone about taking risk about challenging convention and so I'm going to continue speaking and um, I am very committed uh, and so I'm going to continue uh, uh, talking about this book as much as possible into the future uh, and I'm very committed to uh, to my wife now I mean it's it you, you you develop these new adventures in your life right I mean I'm not looking for the next bullfighting opportunity just yet uh, right now I just want to be the best husband I can be and I want to find a, a, a nice house for us to live in and, and, and we will go to the mountains on the weekend and to the beach and we'll do fun things in the future so right now the most important things to me are working on this book and getting this book out there and sharing this message and uh, and being the best husband I can possibly be those are the those are the next adventures in my life <laughs> thank you very much Adam for your session <laughs> and also you're welcome and also um, all the interesting things that you have shared. Um, just before we close up, Adam, um, would you like to um, wrap up or do we, would you like to have any uh, last information to, to give out to the audience? 
Yeah, the only only other thing I was going to say is uh, if anyone has any questions, just make sure you email me. Uh, and you can, if you go to my website, you can check out some more pictures that I have on there that I wasn't able to show today. Uh, the website is oneyearlived.com. Uh, and so if you check out the website, you can read a few excerpts from the book. Um, you, and then, like I said, you can email me if you have any more questions or if you want any any other little bits of advice. Uh, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear anything that you have to say. Um, so yeah, and that's the book. And the the book is available uh, through my website. You can buy the book through the website. In a bunch of it, you know, there there's the paperback version. There are all the eBooks and everything. So everything is at the website right now. All right. Okay. Thank you very much again, Adam. And um, can we also say thank you? At my website, you'll find online financial seminars, which is by call webinars. I do it regularly, and also a lot of uh, online investment and financial courses, which is conducted solely online. So I'll be waiting for you at my website at kclau.com. I wish you have a great day. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.